with two hands. You will carry it like a baby. You cannot get a hold of him because he's slimy, which is good. Put him in the eyes, pick up the body, okay? Don't hang him like this. Don't pick him up by the tail. You don't pick babies up by the toes, do you? So don't do it to my fishies. These are my friends. They died for us. You need to treat them with respect, okay? They're not fishmongers. All right, so get the ice out of the belly. Starting from tail to head. Tail to head. Head facing the belly, tail facing away. Make sense? You're gonna pull the scaler down on it. Get all the way into the tail. Anything that is shiny is a scale, okay? What's very important as well is that you get in between the adipose fin or the dorsal ridge, depending on which fish it is, right along the top, right by that fin, right along the top, all the way into the head. Okay? It does not take a lot of pressure. I'm literally just raking it across. You may have heard rumors that if you leave water running on top of this, that it'll keep the scales from flying. Horse pucky. All you're doing is wasting water and you're still getting scales on your face. Okay? I like to think of them as accessories. They make it shiny. Okay? You want to get down in between the anal fin and the caudal fin, okay, right in between there. You want to get all the way down on the belly. Now I'm taking extra time with this. This should take you no more than 45 seconds per side, okay. Literally putting my hand in the belly, holding it up, getting all the way down on that belly. It is incredibly important that there is absolutely no scales left on this fish. See how I move the fins around so I can get behind them. See all these scales that are popping off? All the way down on the belly. You're going to scale your hand. It hurts. Suck it up. Okay? Or if it hurts you too badly, put on a glove. If you're scaling your hand that many times, there's issues. Deeper issues than what a glove can help you with. Okay, so now I'm double checking my work, right? Oh look, I missed scales. Never just go, oh I'm done. Double check your work. Make sure you're not feeling any scales with your fingernails. Okay? Good to go. Now, once both sides are done, you rinse them off with cold water. There should be no scales in the belly, no scales on the fish itself. There should be no slime left on the, on the fish, right? If you rinse it correctly. Bless you. Bless you. Make sense? Now. Bless you. Oh, so dainty. <laughs> <laughs> so you got this side, right? Nice and uh, dull, right? as compared to this side. See the difference, guys? Nice and shiny. This has scales. This does not. See the difference? Now, all fish have two sides. That includes flatfish. Even if it's not pigmented and it's white, it still has scales. Okay? All right, so now we know how to scale. You don't need to worry about gutting. Okay, you're gonna pull the fish that you need to pull. And you guys are gonna wait